In the currency quadrant, taking a look at the June euro currency, which drops for the second straight session following a three session rally. Today's high, 108.98, was up short of a tenth of 1%, eight basis points to be exact. And we finished the day down almost two tenths of a percent with a low of 108.60 and a half. That was down a little bit more than a quarter of 1%. We're also down four tenths of a percent over the two sessions that I mentioned, splitting the total nicely, again, down about 20 basis points yesterday, about 20 basis points today. The main difference between today and yesterday was the initial volume today, which is roughly two thirds of yesterday's official volume. On the week, as we reach the midpoint of the week, the euro is working on its sixth straight week higher in the last eight up just short of two tenths of 1% at this point. PPI data in the Eurozone came in much weaker than expected. Month over month came in at down 1% versus expectations of down a half a percent. And the prior month over month read being revised lower to down a half of 1%. Year over year PPI is now down minus 0.7% versus expectations of minus 0.5, of minus 5.1%. All last month's read was minus 7.8%. So it's a little bit better in terms of the amount that producer prices have decreased. The ECB is expected to cut rates by 25 basis points on Thursday, despite inflation still being at 2.6% and having risen from two consecutive months of a 2.4% read. We had the Bank of Canada today that cut rates. There is a X 99% probability of a cut priced into the Eurozone swap markets at this point. But many, many analysts think the ECB may shift to a more hawkish stance at this meeting and the rate cut could be a one-off. So watch the Euro price action after the announcement tomorrow and after the uh, Christine Lagarde, who's the head of the ECB after her press conference.